Ashley Gerson from MEI, and welcome to the MEI EasyTrax Remote Data Port and MEI Series 2000 Combo Acceptor Installation Video. For your convenience, this video is divided into four chapters. You may view each chapter separately, or you may view the entire video from beginning to end. Topics include a brief discussion of the configuration options, the combo acceptor installation, the wide area network or WAN installation, and the remote data port maintenance, diagnostics, and repair. Before we begin, let's go through a brief explanation of the system and how it functions. The MEI Combo Acceptor combines the highly reliable MEI Series 2000 bill acceptor with the credit card reader, which is built right into the unit's bezel. This combination allows for installation in existing MEI bill acceptor mountings without the need for cutting a new opening. The MEI Cash and Credit Solution consists of the MEI Combo Acceptor along with the MEI EasyTrax Remote Data Port or RDP. The RDP provides a wireless connection to a credit card authorized server. This system gives you the ability to accept credit cards in MDB vending machines. For further information on the material in this video, refer to the installation guide or contact the MEI Technical Help Desk during the hours of 8.30 a.m. through 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time at 1-800-345-8172. The MEI Cash and Credit Solution is offered in a variety of configuration options. Common to each configuration are the MEI Combo Acceptor and the MEI EasyTrax Remote Data Port, or RDP. The RDP can be configured as a wide area network or WAN-only RDP, a local area network or LAN-only RDP, or a WAN-LAN RDP. The first configuration is the Wide Area Network, or WAN-only RDP. The WAN is the cellular phone system, but the cell phone is a packet radio that only sends data. The WAN option is used in standalone machines or for the simplest installations. The other two configurations use a wireless local area network, also referred to as a wireless LAN. A wireless LAN uses short-range radios for sending data. Their outdoor range is one mile. However, indoors the range is drastically shortened by walls or when transmitting between a building's floors. The units will create a data network by using the LAN radios to exchange information. Your RDP has a wireless LAN if there are two gold connectors protruding through the front of the RDP. The second configuration, the WAN-LAN, is also referred to as the master RDP. This option is used when networking many machines, and it connects all to the WAN or cellular network. The third configuration is the LAN-only. This is known as a satellite option, Use the networking multi-machine sites in conjunction with a WAN-LAN configuration. LAN-only RDP, WAN-LAN RDP, WAN-only RDP. This concludes a brief discussion about the configuration options available for the MEI Cash and Credit Solution. Chapter 3 of this video provides detailed instructions for the installation of the RDP WAN configuration option. installation. In this chapter, we will review the installation process for the MEI Combo Acceptor. The only tool required is an 1132nd nut driver. 
Before the installation, verify that the machine is functioning properly by performing a test bend. Then open the machine door and gain access to the inside of the vending machine. After that, turn off the power to the vending machine and inspect the machine cables and connectors for defects. Now let's mount the combo acceptor into the vending machine. Secure the unit with the hex nuts. Connect the combo acceptor to the appropriate interface harness located inside the vending machine. The additional harness coming from the bezel will be used later. Apply power to the vending machine and observe the status LED on the back of the combo acceptor. Depending on the vendor, the power-up sequence may take several seconds. At the conclusion of the sequence, the LED should be on steady. If the LED is flashing, Refer to the label located on the back of the bill magazine for descriptions of the diagnostic codes. Resolve any issues with the combo acceptor before moving on to the RDP installation. This concludes the chapter on the installation process for the MEI Series 2000 combo acceptor. Chapter 3, WAN Option Installation. In this chapter, we will discuss the installation of the MEI EasyTrax RDP and the MEI Series 2000 Combo Acceptor using the WAN Configuration option. The required components of this installation are the WAN-only system kit, the Combo Acceptor, which should already be installed, a drill, preferably high-power battery-operated, a 3 8 inch metal drill bit, and a ladder. The WAN system kit includes an RDP, two RDP harnesses, the P1 Power Dex MDB harness, and the P2 Combo Acceptor Interface harness, a WAN radio module, a WAN antenna, alcohol pads, and tie wraps. Prior to installation, Remove power from the vending machine. Open the RDP connector cover and connect the P1 and P2 harnesses to the RDP. The wiring harnesses and RDP are clearly marked. Notice that the ridge connector must face up. Then close the connector cover. Select a location for the RDP in the vending machine door or cabinet and test the fit. Remember to check for visible machine obstructions, harness routing options, DEX plug accessibility, and antenna cable length requirements. When the RDP location has been determined, remove the RDP with the attached harnesses and set aside. Next, using the supplied alcohol pads, Thoroughly clean the machine surface where the RDP will be installed. Remove the plastic protective film from the double-sided Velcro attached to the RDP and firmly secure the RDP to your chosen mounting location. Check the security of the P1 and P2 connections after the RDP has been secured to the machine surface. Then connect the P1 harness to the vending machine's MDB interface harness. Connect the P2 5-pin connector harness to the combo acceptor's mating connector coming from the bezel. Now we will move on to the antenna installation. MEI recommends that the antenna be installed so that during normal use, there is a separation distance of 8 inches between the antenna and people. Also, be sure to locate a mounting position that is suitable for the routing of the WAN antenna cable. MEI recommends that this antenna be mounted on a horizontal plane outside the vending machine. 
This may be accomplished by drilling a 3 8 inch hole through the top of the vending machine. Ensure that the location of the hole allows for the antenna to mount fully on the top of the machine with no overhang. You may utilize a step ladder to accomplish this. If you are working with a vending machine that has refrigeration, be careful not to drill into the refrigeration cabinet. After drilling, remove any burrs or metal shavings that may have fallen into the vending machine. Prior to threading the antenna cable into the vending machine, remove the ferrite filter. After the antenna cable has been fed into the machine, put the ferrite filter back on the cable. Place the filter as close as possible to the antenna connector. For easier mounting, the WAN antenna comes with an adhesive bottom. The machine surface must be clean and dry for the adhesive to adhere properly. Using an alcohol pad, thoroughly clean the mounting surface around the hole, making it clear of any dirt in the area where the WAN antenna will be installed. Remove and cut the plastic film from the bottom side of the antenna. Aligning the center post of the antenna with the pre-drilled hole at the top of the machine. Press firmly and secure the antenna to the top of the machine. Route the antenna cable toward the RDP and connect to the WAN radio module with the brass nut located at the end of the cable. It is important not to coil the antenna cable while installing. Then connect the DEX plug from the P1 wiring harness to the vending machine DEX jack, if required by the MEI machine compatibility chart. At this point, you must secure the harnesses by using tie wraps. Now, reapply power to the vending machine. A solid green LED should be visible through the deck socket located on the front of the RDP. You may then close the vending machine door and check the combo bezel display. The display will say, Cash Only. Once the RDP establishes communication with the network server, the combo bezel display will momentarily change to, Please Swipe Card. Normally, this could take one to three minutes. Maximum is five minutes. Depending on the RDP status, the display may or may not change to Settlement in Progress. When Settlement is completed, Please Swipe Card will return to the display. Now that we have finished the installation, perform two test spends. First, swipe a credit card and purchase a product. Second, insert cash and purchase a product. The completion of both test bends will verify that the installation was a success. Finally, make sure to apply the appropriate labels to the combo acceptor. This concludes the training on the installation of the MEI EasyTracks RDP and MEI Series 2000 Combo Acceptor with the WAN configuration option.